a Mario Calcazzi of the mind. He is just like a Ferris wheel. Mario is. He likes to go both up and down. The clouds come near when Mario is in himself. He likes to go both up and down. Antagonisms from the beach do not detract from Mario's enjoyment of the time he's in. The lonely of the magical is what he sees. The rabbit comes out of the hat upon command as he becomes the chosen one, picked straight out of a crowd of one. The streets are lonely in the morn, the warmest season of the mind. He sees some people file in, their ticket stubs fall to the ground, and Mario angers at them and breaks the neck within the hat and from without he pulls no rabbit from the hat. The children jeer, and Mario seems not to know just what to do, no frisson moves the amateur to act or not. The children give him no respect, poor Mario, one with a tear he sheds behind a candy booth. He knows a fact, that people seem to be made only of their words, their faces contort with agony, full with the unreal visible. Ideas of ideation seem to be all that he wants to dream, for when he dreams, he dreams just like a Ferris wheel. The cotton candy settles deep within, it growls and moans as he decides to snooze. But as he snoozes, Mario sees the candy man needs a break, so he takes one as Mario just dreams and grins. As noon grows old and he wakes up, the children still show no kindness. The red upon Mario's hands, the hands that color Mario, are laden with the voix du poids of circumstance. That is too much to let go of. The children see just Mario. Then evening comes, and all forget the day, just the sun of the sun. As life's strong lights light up the night, it likes to go both up and down. The sky becomes a chocolate vat, and towers candy canes to dip. Oh, Mario, you five and dime, stop daydreaming and make some sense of your own world. You are more than a grown man now. But Mario does disagree and obsequy till a car full of clowns drives by and waves to him. Then Mario stands tall and proud within himself, despite the warnings of the crowd. Personae of his fairest mind is what it reads as they gather. To hear the barker loudly say, but nothing comes. Mario is late to the disclosure of his fate. A candy cane, venereal gesture that sticks, is all that matters in this state, a part of his cold urban verse. The rabble roused is increasing and gathers round to tell him so, but Mario likes to turn like a Ferris wheel. He likes to go both up and down. What matters is what matters most. Such anaphora Mario cannot relate to his new state of metaphor. Poor Mario. What matters is what matters most, and so too does the full found moon, a shine above the harbored eyes of Mario lost deep in thought. What matters most is what matters, until a light gives shape his thoughts, mere metaphor of Brooklyn ways, and Mario thinks it so, so it must be so, that I am like a Ferris wheel, for when I'm up the people clap, but when I'm down I'm near the ground. Into the night goes Mario, poor Mario, he tapers toward his only end, under the barker's silent gaze, into the night of dreams and games, he keeps walking, under strangers non-stop talking. Oh, whose turn is it anyway? Demetz is bad. Do it again, Daddy. Do it again. What up, my man? The night resumes its Mario. Like Mario, it likes to go both up and down.